it's been a stressful, it's been a stressful couple of um, days. I just want to, you know, like I could quit again for another 12 days if I want to. I just, I really want a cigarette right now and I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. not the worst thing I could do. There's, there's worse things out there, you know. How are you? I feel like you can hear my boyfriend right through the wall. He's on the phone. talking about test scores. Yeah, you can totally hear him. Okay. He's ruining my video. I'm trying to pay attention to you. My boyfriend is ruining my fucking video right now. I'm not fucking happy about it. <laughs> no, I don't care. Well, I care, but I don't care. Anyway, I'm going to talk about what I want to talk about right now because I had a really traumatic day. For those of you who don't know, I love bidding on eBay. It's one of my favorite things to do. And today I was bidding on a particular pair of shoes that I've had my eye on. I initially bid on it. This is what I do when I like something and it's at a cost that I'm like, yes, I'll do that. I bid on it. And if there's a lot of time left on the bidding, I wait until right up until it's about to be over and then I start heavy bidding. Cause I don't wanna like get the price up, up, up before it needs to be, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so today was the day. Today was the heavy hitting bidding day, okay? So I'm hitting that bid button. And keep in mind the shoes, they were shoes, they were shoes. I know it sounds gross buying shoes on eBay, but like, no. If you're buying designer shoes on eBay and you look at the pictures, obviously, I, I wouldn't bid on something that didn't have pictures of like the bottom of the shoe and like inside the shoe because I want to see how worn it is. But there are bitches out there that will wear a pair of shoes one or two times. I know I've had shoes I'm only worn like one or two times and then they're done with them. So that's what I look for. High quality shoes that are either new without tags, new with tags. This pair of shoes slipped away from my hands, my fingertips, at $56. And it retailed for $895. That's right, $895. When it slipped away, I was pissed. I was pissed, I was livid, I was silently livid. So, I didn't get that, but on the bright side, it's not like losing a bet, you know, or like gambling, you know, like if I lose, I don't lose money. Um, so, I guess that's good. Um, but still, I just, you know, when you really want something and then you start like envisioning it like in your life, like that's what I had been doing all week. I started like envisioning like what outfits I would wear it with. And so I got really connected to these shoes. I got really connected to these shoes before I had them. And I guess that's why they say don't count your chickens before they hatch. Isn't that the saying? Don't count your chickens before they hatch. Well, I was counting my fucking chickens before they hatched. And that's never a good idea to like start a bidding process with expectations that you're going to get it because there's a possibility you won't get it. And I didn't get it. And I'm upset about it. And... I almost made a crying video about it, but I didn't cry, but I almost did. 
because I am that sensitive. I'm very, I'm sensitive. I have the emotional maturity of a teenager and I will be the first to admit that. I get very hurt very easily. And this pair of shoes hurt me. It hurt bad. I would have looked so good in those shoes. So, um, if I if I need these shoes, the only other option is to like find the. the I already looked if they existed anywhere else online. I, I looked. I scoped it the fuck out. Is like two or three hundred dollars like on like Poshmark, or, like one of those like secondhand type sites consignment. I don't want to spend $200, $300 on a pair of shoes. Even if it's worth almost $900, I don't want to do it. I don't, that's just like kind of like a limit that I have. Like I really like like the detailed work of name brand things, but I do not have it in me to spend money like that on name brand things. Like I will never, if you see me with name brand stuff, I got it. Like for cheap somewhere. I fucking found it for cheap somewhere. I did, or it was a gift because I will never pay full price for something like that. Never, ever, ever, never, ever. But I would have probably bid up to like $70 on it. I, I probably would have gone there, but the clock ran out. So I get too greedy sometimes and I start like doing like the lowest bids because I don't know where the line is. You know, people can set their lines and I didn't, I didn't set my line because I like that low bidding, the back and forth bidding, 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 bidding. I like, I like that, but I just don't like it when it doesn't work out. I like to get it. I like to eventually get it, you know? Here I am. Here I am. Smoking a cigarette and thinking about those shoes. Because I fell in love. I fell in love with those shoes. And there's nothing that I can do about it. You know? I can't do anything about it. They're not mine. Those shoes are going to be on someone else's feet, walking around somewhere, and I have no idea where they are. So, so, that's that. That's that. Anyway, so someone please say something to cheer me up, please. Someone tell me that I'll find love again in another pair of shoes someday. Someone tell me that, please. It'll probably be next week, but please someone tell me that. Because I, I need to hear that I'm going to fall in love again. not going to let myself cry over shoes. Not going to let myself do it. Don't rub it in. Just say something nice, please. <laughs>